Apple Fitness Plus versus Beachbody on demand. Which one is worth your money and which one's most likely to get you decent results? In this video, I'll cover the prices, what the main differences are between each fitness app, and which one you should buy coming up. Welcome back team, I'm Steve Bunn, qualified personal trainer from Stag.Fitness. Each week I bring you the latest fitness tech and workout programs, so please consider subscribing as it really does help me out. 2021 is now upon us and for most of us out there we still can't get to the gym to work out. So the good news is there are a lot of fitness apps out there that can still get us amazing results in the comfort of our own home. So let's start with Apple Fitness Plus that's just recently launched. As with anything Apple related, when they do bring a new product to the market, they normally tend to lead the way compared to the competition that's already out there. It's worth mentioning though, if you do want to use Apple Fitness Plus, you will need an Apple Watch just to be able to use it. So if you do already own an Apple Watch, then you can claim a one month free trial already. Or even better, if you have recently bought a new Apple Watch, then you will also get a three month free trial for Apple Fitness Plus that you can claim now. After the free trial though, it'll cost you $9.99 a month or $79.99 for the year. Or you could sign up to the new Apple One service, which will cost you $29.95 and you'll get access to Apple Music, TV, Arcade, iCloud, News Plus, and of course, Apple Fitness Plus, all included for this one low cost monthly fee. Whereas if you compare the prices to Beach Bridge on Demand, that will cost you $39 for three months, $59 for six months, or $99 for the year. So as you can see, there's no option to pay for Beachbody On Demand month to month. Before you fully commit, you can also try all of the Beachbody workouts with their 14 day free trial, but I'll link that down below. And just so you know, these are the prices just for Beachbody's workouts only. There are also challenge packs that you can buy, which do include Shakeology and sometimes some additional equipment. But in my opinion, Shakeology is just not worth it for $100 a month. So bear that in mind. But that's only worth picking up if you use all those services at the moment. Before I move on though, if you have used Apple Fitness or Beach Putting On Demand, let me know what you think of the workouts and which one you recommend in the comments below. Considering Apple Fitness Plus has only just launched, there are a huge amount of workouts to choose between. You have HIIT, Yoga, Core, Strength, Treadmill, Cycling, Rowing, Dance and Mindful Core Dance. When you start the workout on your phone, it will automatically sync with your Apple Watch or vice versa. Then when the workout starts, you can see all your stats on screen every step of the way, including all your activity rings. So if you're like me and you like completing your activity rings day to day, then these will update in real time as you work out. And what I also like about Apple Fitness Plus is the fact that Apple Music seamlessly integrates each service. You can select your workouts by your preferred music genre, type of workout, how long your workout wants to be, or even your trainer. You can also filter all the workouts by your favorite type of music that you like working out to. The only downsides I did find with Apple Fitness Plus are there are no specific programs that you can follow start to finish to get a certain type of results. Which is a shame, but Apple Fitness Plus will recommend your workouts based on your previous selection. You just won't get anything tailored to you. This is where Beachbody On Demand differs. Beachbody On Demand, on the other hand, focuses more on following one particular type of fitness program for multiple weeks or months to get your specific results. There is music included in most of the programs to keep you motivated, but there's no music tracks that you will recognize from your favorite artists that you hear on TV or the radio. Beachbody On Demand does have a variety of fitness programs that you can follow, but there are only one or two programs that you can follow for each type of fitness. So if you do pick up Beachbody On Demand and you're just looking to lift weights, you've only really got Body Beast or Hammer and Chisel to follow. With Beachbody On Demand, there are around one or two types of workout programs to suit different type of fitnesses. You've probably heard of most of the fitness programs on there. There are some amazing proven programs on there already though. You've probably heard of programs such as Insanity for the Extreme Hit Cardio, P90X, 80 day obsession, and of course, one of my favorites, Body Beast, just to name a few. So all of your hit, running, core, and weightlifting programs are in there. There's just not too many of each type. But the good thing about Beachbody's new programs, they're all filmed in real time, so when you do start a program on day one, you'll also see the cast doing it every step of the way with you. 
Apple Fitness Plus is really amazing the way it just seamlessly works with Apple Music and your Apple Watch as it shows all your stats on screen every step of the way. It makes some of the most boring pieces of gym equipment like the row machine, spin bike or the dreaded treadmill really fun to use. So if you do have a treadmill, rower or spin bike lying around at home then I'd definitely pick up Apple Fitness just to use with it. I can't remember the last time I did a 45 minute treadmill workout, enjoyed it and forgot how long it was. Which is what Apple Fitness managed to do with me as it made running on a treadmill really fun and I enjoyed the music every step of the way. Yes, there's no long term programs to follow which is a shame but Apple Fitness has only just launched so they may add them in the future. For a pick up and go fitness app to get straight into your workouts, I've really enjoyed it. But remember, you will need an Apple Watch to use it which is a shame for the people that don't have one. Otherwise, if you're looking to commit to a long-term fitness program to get your specific results, then Beach Boy On Demand is definitely the way to go. Just remember, depending on what type of workout you do want to do, there are a limited number of programs that you can follow. So as long as you like their coaches, you're good to go. But with trainers like Sean T and Tony Horton, you're in safe hands. Again, if you have done any of these workouts from either Apple Fitness or Beach Boy On Demand, let everyone know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you like this video. See you next week. Goodbye.